Good evening folks, it's late at night, I'm trying to get my last video sorted for 2024. Chemistry review first of all. Don't watch this video if it's going to cause you any stress or distress, although there are a few exams left this year. Second, um, I can't get any money from this because I have an educational account, so this is all purely non-profit. And third, please remember that you can't really accurately judge your marks because these are my guesses not the SQA mistake, uh, not the SQA marks, and I make mistakes. I certainly have done before. I'm going to get myself a glass of water. Excuse me. Okay, number one. Uh, the difference between the first line is I'm going. To, I've done all these in advance. I'm just going to run through them really quickly. Feel free to pause the video and see what you think. Number of protons. It pulls the electrons in tighter. Number two. Francium. Uh, it's going to be a liquid because its melting point is likely to be less than 30 and it's going to have a covalent radius greater than 238. Covalent bonds. Pure covalent bonds. In fact, let me just check my screen. Yes, I am. Pure covalent bonds, identical EN, electronegativity numbers, is pH 3. Um, one molar permanganate. That's a tricky one, this one. You get two electrons multiplied by five. Five electrons multiplied by two. Um, but if you only get one mole per manganate, so two reacts with um, ten, so one would react with five. That's quite a sneaky one. Quite a sneaky question, that one. Um, this is basically best reducing agent, best oxidizing agent, or electrons transfer top right to bottom left. It's that one. Never heard of it. Isomer of it though. It took me just to work this one out because I was being thick. It's A. Can we fit 7 8? Yes, we can on screen. A compound has a molecular formula C4 H7OH and reacts with certified potassium dichromate, so therefore it is an alcohol. The compound is a alcohol, fine, but um, it can be tertiary, it can only be secondary. And because this is not CnH2n plus 1, it's CnH2n minus 1, so therefore it's unsaturated. That's quite tricky. Relative rate uh, completion is basically 1 over time, which comes out to be that one. Sorry about the paper noises. This is an old question. I've seen this one before, it's problem solving. Um, basically, it's that one there. If you read the definition of an alpha amino acid, that's the only one that fits. Isoprene unit. Some folks were complaining that the isoprene unit is not C5H8. That's because the remaining bond is used to join to the next carbon, so that's C5H7. It does actually make sense. It's that one. It's the only one with five carbons. Sorry about the noise, guys. Edible oils. This is also an old question. Um, lowest melting point will have the most double bonds. Therefore, it will have the highest ID number, which in our case is linseed. Dehydration. Can I get this on screen? There we go. Um, this is a symmetry question. If, you, if you're going to get two isomeric alkenes, that means the hydroxyl cannot be on the centre carbon atom. So basically, it's which one of these is the hydroxyl not on the centre carbon atom, as you can see down here. I was working out a few, and the answer is it is hexan 3 o Number 13. Uh, it's the opposite of where, where they normally go. They normally go from alcohols to carboxylic acids, but we're going in reverse. Wording is interesting, is formed from. What happens if English is not your primary primary language? You're gonna go with that one, rather than that one. It's not a great question. Boiling points of alkanes increases due to stronger London dispersion forces. 
15 and 16, we're on camera. Uh, not a correct statement about the catalyst. It does not increase the energy of the molecules. You'd have to turn the temperature up for that. And this one here, that's, uh, yeah, five moles of ammonium phosphate, uh, positive ions are ammonium ions. You'd be tempted to just go with three, which of course is the first answer, but five threes are 15. I should put some random numbers in here to indicate this. If we start at 100 and end down at 10, the change would be negative 90. And arithmetically speaking, that is Z, which is 10, minus Y. A tricky one, that one, actually. Surprisingly tricky for a simple maths question. Uh, Hess's law. We're going from here to here. And we are going with this arrow, but against that arrow. This person knows her stuff. Plus 283. I reckon that is the answer. The main bond enthalpy of the NH bond is equal to the one third of the delta H for which of these following changes? The only bonds you can be breaking are three NH bonds. And the only equation that, that matches up to is A. Um, I'm not going to go into that. It's too late at night and I'm too tired. So I'm not going to go into why that might be pedantically wrong. Ask your chemistry teacher, see what they say. The equation is an equilibrium, a mixture of equilibrium. Um, if it's already at equilibrium, the rate of the forward and backward reaction will not change. Sort of trick question there. 21. We're trying to establish A in relation to all the rest of these, and I reckon it's going to be that one. Twenty-two filtration. I'm hoping you watch my um, research in chemistry video. Well, I'll come back to that in the written part. There's an interesting one in the written question, in the written paper. Sorry. Uh, this is a residue up here, and that's a filtrate. Forty-five mils of a solution cannot be measured accurately with anything else than a fifty mil burette. I'm afraid. observe the endpoint. That's the white tile so you can see the colour change more more clearly. Everything else does not help you actually measure the end point. Carbon dioxide. Um, yeah. <laughs> you did this last year rescue. Eh? You might want to go and look up the actual solubility of carbon dioxide because I did just to prove a point and that's a fair amount at room temperature. So collection over water is the official SQE answer. Um, but in reality, that's not the best way of isolating carbon dioxide. Thanks for listening, folks. Bye-bye.